Hi guys, I'm Stefan and I'm a freelance electrical engineer from Denmark. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own symbols in Bluebeam. Let's dive in and get started. The first thing we're going to do is to add a new tool chest for the symbols. To do that, you want to make sure that you're on the tool chest tab here. Now we're going to go to tool chest, manage tool sets. Here you can decide what you want to show in your tool chest by clicking these. We're going to keep it simple for this video and then add a new one. Type in the title and click OK. You can save it where you want, but I'm going to save it here with the other tool sets. Click on Save. Now you can see that the tool set is added to the tool chest when we click OK. It's right here. So what you're going to need is a reference PDF that have all the symbols that you want to create. In my case, I have this. It's a standard. I already dragged in the PDF to Bluebeam. In order to create the symbols in an easy way, we need to make the black content in the PDF more gray so that we can see the difference between the black content and the symbol that we want to create. Go to Document and choose Color Processing. Choose Luminosity, Saturation and Hue. And then click Process Images. Now we want to move the slider in luminosity to around 80%. Click OK. Now we can see the difference here. And now we're going to use the markup tool to create multiple lines on top of the existing symbol. Go to Tools, Markup, and then click on Line. Now we can draw a line on top of the existing symbol by left clicking and holding down the Shift key while you decide to end the line. Make sure the line is black by going here and select black. We can also change the line weight. In this case, I'm going to set it to 0.36. And now you can place the line on top of the existing symbol. From here, we can just copy and paste what we just created. And again, while holding the Shift key, we can easily snap it to where we want. To draw these curved lines, we now want to have an arc. So go to Tools, Markup, and then click Arc. Now we're going to create two points. We're going to click right here and here. Now copy this one, paste it, and right click on it, go to alignment, and then flip this one. Now we want to group all the multiple lines that we created. By doing this, press V on your keyboard, select all the lines, and press Ctrl or Command G on your keyboard. The symbol is now created, and we want to save it to the toolset you just created. Right click on the symbol, add it to the tool chest, and click on your toolset. Now you can see it's added to the toolset. So that's it, you have now created your own symbols. Let's start using them. Go to your sheet. For this example, I'm using a free PDF floor plan. Add a simple from your tool chest by clicking on it and put it where you want by clicking again. Let's say you want to increase this simple. Then you can just drag the corner here. And because you created the simples, it's vectorized and you will not lose any pixels. If you want to rotate it 180 degrees, all you have to do is right clicking on it, go to alignment and flip it vertically. 
Okay, so let's now say that you have a lot of symbols on this sheet that can make it a bit mushy to look at. Basically, we just want the symbols to be more in focus. Just do the same thing that you did with the symbol by going to Document and select Color Processing. And now choose the luminosity to around 50 this time. Click OK. Now you can see the symbols are more in focus. So this is a very easy way to create a quick drawing for the client. And guys, that's it. That's a quick basic tutorial of how to create your own symbols and add them to your PDF sheet. If you guys have any questions, please comment below. Have a good one.